Today, on the 12th day of John Locke, James, or as you may know him better, Crispy Bits, gives to us the joy of painting. <laughs> Hi, I'm James, Crispy Bits, and today we're going to do a painting. Watercolors seemed most appropriate for this project given certain recent developments. Generally, when working with watercolors, you want to start off with the lightest shades first. So here I'm starting with their skin tones, because both Sherlock and John are quite pale. Almost as though they've been, I don't know, trapped in a closet or something for the last 130 years. Next, I'm filling in the first layer of blue on John's jumper. For darker colors, like the dark blue of John's jumper, you want to build it up in layers. Putting on too much color at once can cause the paper to become warped and overworked. Don't be afraid to go as slowly as you need with watercolors, even if that means it takes you seven years to finish one painting. in Shock's hair, be sure to give it lots of movement. Keep his hair as swishy and flamboyant as he is. A lot of people, myself included, tend to make John blonde, but Martin's hair is actually much more of a silver color, and it's only gotten grayer as the years have gone on. Almost as though a massive secret he's been keeping for nearly the past decade has started to wear on him a bit. If you ever want to leave little sections of white, there's this thing you can use called masking fluid, but I'm just freehanding it here. Much like the writers, I can barely be bothered to mask anything anymore. Here I'm going back in to add another layer of blue, and I end up overworking it a little bit. That's why patience is really key here. Adding in those little blue dots. Happy little dots. Adding in some shadows here and there. the key to watercolors is layers. Think of it like adding layers of subtext. The more you add, the richer and deeper the final product. Next, just a nice wash of blue for Sherlock's shirt, because he really does wear a lot of pastels.
darkening up those blues even a little bit more, and adding some lines and shadows. One of the great things about working with watercolor is that it's very easy to fix your mistakes. There's no need to fake your death or go into exile, just a little bit more water and you'll have it cleared right up. Now I'm just going back in to add some finishing touches. Adding in some extra lines, going back in to darken up some of the shadows. Adding some extra curl to Sherlock's hair. And there you have it. With a little bit of love and a lot of patience, you'll soon have a beautiful kiss. That's all there is to it. Thank you, James. And with that, we have 20 days left until Series 4.